we're back we're back we are back guys please make sure you subscribe to care culture Radio. remember link is pinned on top of my chat in my community time also my bio remember we do go live each and every monday wednesday friday six o'clock eastern time with my good man prince hakeem and my good man the joint era hope to see you there you never know who we may have on the panel who you may surprise you with that way it's very important to make sure you subscribe to care culture Radio. we on our way to 1k subscribers with you guys help we will reach that goal man it, it, it's good it's been a journey it's been a journey good two years in care culture radio now we back in i'm trying to fix my hat i'm trying to because i got one of the guys that's watching me that's a heat hater so i want to make sure he see the heat logo you know who you are you know who i'm talking about so pretty much i've been saying it for a very long time at some point these businesses is going to get going to get to the crackdown with all these shoplifters and all these theft and all these looters coming into their store to try to destroy things within the property or try to steal things and walk out of the store. But however, for this Home Depot, this Home Depot security guard almost lost his life trying to deal with a soft, with a shoplifter. Let's take a walk. It is yet another case of a retail store confrontation escalating to violence. A security guard at a San Carlos Home Depot opening fire on a suspected shoplifter last night. It happened at the store on Old Country Road just off of 101. Katie Nielsen found out security companies are seeing a surge in demand for armed guards. This is where that shooting happened around 10 o'clock last night as the store was closing. Shoppers we talked to today said they've seen armed guards in the store for quite a while. And when we asked if that was a positive or negative thing, opinions were mixed. Today just happened to be with my daughter running errands and I actually told her this is a pretty sketchy parking lot. Stay close. Nate Torsh and his 14-year-old daughter live in Redwood City. This is our closest Home Depot to us. He says he wasn't surprised when he heard about the shooting. It is San Carlos. It's still better than most cities in the Bay Area, but um, it's just, it was only a matter of time that that was going to start coming this way. A worker boarded up the broken window early this morning, the only remaining sign of the struggle that happened Monday night as the store was closing. According to police, the suspect, later identified as 26-year-old Jonathan Mackey, got into a physical confrontation with the armed security guard as he was trying to leave the store with stolen merchandise. Mackey got a hold of the guard's baton and hit the guard in the head and arms repeatedly before throwing the baton through the store window, leaving a hole and shattered glass. The security guard pulled out his gun and fired two shots at the suspect, hitting him once. A nearby San Mateo County Sheriff's deputy heard the shots and rushed to help. Both the security guard and the suspect were taken to the hospital, where both are expected to survive. It's a very unfortunate situation. Um, unfortunately, it's it's becoming a common occurrence now. Evan Frazier owns AAD Security out of San Leandro. He says with more and more violence occurring in retail settings, there's a huge surge in demand for security guards, especially for guards with advanced certifications to be able to carry a baton or firearm. Even the most affluent areas where crime is not necessarily um, a huge, huge issue, they are starting to hire guards just a matter of practice. But when it comes to armed security guards protecting stores, shoppers have mixed reactions. I know that uh, theft has been rampant in a lot of these areas, but I think we have to come up with alternatives, otherwise people are going to continue to die uh, as a result of gun violence and, you know, this kind of sort of sanctioned gun violence. They're here to protect us, and I think they need to have what's needed to protect the people around them, and I mean, that's their job. And it's kind of hard to do that with a baton when the when when the bad guys out there are carrying weapons. Armed security guards do not go through the same training as police officers. The state requires security guards to have a minimum of 40 hours of training, then additional training courses if they want to carry things like pepper spray, a baton or a firearm. And back in April, a loss prevention worker at a Home Depot in Pleasanton was shot and killed by a suspected shoplifter. The Now, here's the thing. This is going to be a really quick, quick, uh, uh, quick take. Pretty much like I've been saying it before, they're going to create laws where they're going to allow these security guards to be able to, before you walk out that door, to shoot to take down. Because at some point, these, these businesses are losing too many, too many, too many losses because people are coming in, shoplifting, and walking out the door. And not only that, but a lot of these shoplifters are becoming very, very aggressive. At the end of the day, these security guards got a job to do is make sure they protect the people within the store. 
and make sure they're able to get out of the store safely. But if you have someone that's coming in, like shoplifter, coming in there being very violent and being very, very, pretty much ready to go down by any means necessary, these security guards, they're going to hit that train to the point they're like, okay, shoot, shoot the takedown. It's a sad day we live in America where you now you have people pretty much attacking security guard because they want to take a, a, a drill or a candy bar or anything within the store just for the, just for the thrill. Some people do shop living just for the thrill of thinking about they might get caught. But this is how America is going to be. This is going to be a dark day in America. I'm telling you, people got to wake up one day and realize enough is enough. Subscribe to Care Culture Radio. Remember, link is pinned on top of my chat in my community time and also in my bio. Remember, we do go live each and every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 o'clock Eastern time with my good man, Piss Hakeem, and my good man, New John Era. Hope to see you at one of the live streams. Be careful out there, folks. It ain't worth it. Talk to you guys later. Peace.